the day that the Lord had made. We will rejoice. We'll be glad in it. Father, I thank you for your word. Hallelujah. We stand on every promise of God, knowing that all your promises are yea and amen. For this, we love you. We praise you. We exalt your holy name. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord, for your goodness, your kindness, and mercy. I thank you for the love of God shared abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost. I thank you for Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. For this we love you, Lord, and we praise your holy name. I thank you that you hover over your word to perform it. I thank you that he who promised it is able to fulfill it. So, Father, we just love you. We praise you. Hallelujah. We magnify the Lord. Come magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I heard the Lord. Hallelujah. I called upon his name. In the name of Jesus, Father, we continue to bless you and praise you. We thank you. Hallelujah. We magnify your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. I'd just like to share a scripture with you. This is from Psalms chapter 121. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We give God praise, glory, and honor. Praise the Lord. You're here with a word. Hallelujah. From the Lord. Glory to God. We thank God for Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. We glorify the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. A word with Pastor Walter. Now, you know the, the word is Jesus. Jesus is the word. Glory to God. From John chapter 1, it's, it declares, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shined in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Hallelujah. So we thank God for the word. We thank God for his promises. We know that every promise of God is yea and amen. For this we love you, Lord, and we praise your holy name. I thank God for Jesus tonight, and I pray, hallelujah, that you receive his word tonight, that you receive Jesus. If you don't know Jesus Christ and the pardon of your sins, hallelujah, we need to repent tonight and call upon his holy name. So hallelujah. Father, forgive us of our sins. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness. The word of God appears often in the Bible and can have a slightly different meaning depending on context and the Hebrew or the Greek. In John 1, hallelujah, verse 1, it says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God, hallelujah. So we give God praise for his word. Here, word is a title of Jesus Christ. The term word is logos, which basically means the expression of a thought. Logos can be thought of as the total message of God to man from Acts 11, verse 1. Now the apostles and the brothers that were throughout Judea heard that the Gentiles also had received the word of the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. From 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13. And we also thank God consistently for this, that when you receive the word of God, which you heard from us, you accepted it, not as the word of men, but as what it really is, the word of God, which is at work in you believers. Hallelujah. Jesus embodied the total message that was, that is why he is called the Logos or the word. So I thank God for Jesus. I thank God for his word. I thank God for every promise of God. I stand on every promise of God, and I give God glory, praise, and honor. Hallelujah. Logos is also used many times when referring to the written message of God from John 17, verse 17. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. We thank God for the truth of his word. We thank God that he's reliable. He's faithful. Glory to God. He who promised it is able to fulfill it. So I give God the glory. Hallelujah. From the, uh, 1 Timothy 4 and 5, hallelujah, we thank God for Jesus, for it is made holy by the word of God and by prayer. From Revelation 1, verse 2, hallelujah, 
Thank you, Jesus, who bore witness to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ, even to all that he saw. Hallelujah. The word of God is alive and active, sharper than any two-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing of soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and intents of the heart. Jesus, hallelujah, Jesus shows a link between the written word of God and himself in that he is a subject of the written word. You study the scriptures diligently because you think in them you have eternal life. These are the very scriptures that testify about me from John 5, 39. Praise the Lord. So we thank God for his word. Another word, hallelujah, for Jesus. Uh, another word for the word is rhema. Rhema refers to the actual spoken or written word of God. Hebrews 6 and 5, hallelujah. So we give God praise, glory, and have tasted the goodness of the word of God and the powers of the age to come. When Jesus was being tempted by Satan, he answered, man does not live by bread alone, but by every word, every rhema that proceeds from the mouth of God. I thank God for his rhema word. I thank God that tonight you can get a rhema word. You can get a word that can change your life. You can get a word that's Hallelujah, that says, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might and put on the whole armor of God. You can get a word that says, hallelujah, great is he that's in you than he that's in the world. You can get a word, glory to God, that he will comfort you in the midst of trials and tribulations and persecutions. Glory to God, Jesus has declared, in this world you'll have persecution, but be of good courage for I have overcome the world. We can get a word from God that will change our lives, change our direction, change our focus, change our purpose. So, Father, we thank you for that word. Hallelujah. The phrase, word of God, means more than the printed word on a page. God is a communicator and has been speaking into the human realm since the beginning. He speaks through his creations from Psalm 19 and 1, through ancient prophets from Hosea 12 and 10, from Hebrews 1 and 1, through the Holy Spirit, from John 16 and 13, from Acts 16 and 6, through scriptures, from Hebrews 4 and 12, hallelujah, and through the person of his son, Jesus Christ, hallelujah, from John 14 and verse 9. Jesus said to him, have I been with you so long, and you shall do not know me, Philip? Whosoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say? Show us the Father, hallelujah, as Jesus spoke to his disciples to encourage them, to bless them, hallelujah. He speaks to us today to encourage us, to bless us, praise the Lord, hallelujah. So I'd just like to give God praise and glory tonight. I give God thanks, hallelujah, for his goodness. I give him thanks for his word. I thank him for every promise of God, knowing that all his promises are yea and amen. For this we love you, Lord, and we praise your holy name, hallelujah. Just like to take you to Colossians Chapter 1, glory to God, hallelujah, starting at verse 5, for the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, whereof ye heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel, which is come unto you as it is all in the world, and bring forth fruit as it doth also in you since the day you heard it, and knew the grace of God in truth, as ye also learn of Ephorus, our dear fellow servant, who is for you a faithful minister of Christ, who also declared unto you love in the Spirit. For this cause also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you and to desire that ye might be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that ye may walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God, strengthened with all might, according to his glorious power, unto all patience and long suffering, with joyfulness, giving thanks unto the Father, which hath made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of saints in light, who has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son. Hallelujah. So I thank God, glory to God, that we're translated tonight in the, from the kingdom of his dear Son. So I give God praise, glory, and honor. Just want to talk a little bit, glory to God, about Jesus about his goodness, just some of the attributes of God. Hallelujah. Now, we know that God is omnipresent. Hallelujah. He's everywhere present. So when you're down and out, when things are troubling you, when there's trials and tribulations and difficulties, he's right there with you. He said he'll never leave you nor forsake you. Hallelujah. He'll be there with you to take you through, to show you the way, to give you a word of encouragement. 
He's omnipresent. He's everywhere present. He was there when you were going through what you're going through. Hallelujah. So we give God praise tonight, and I thank him. Hallelujah. He's omni-essence. He, he's all-knowing. He's omnipresent. He's all-present. Hallelujah. He's omnipotent. He's all-powerful. Hallelujah. He can do anything but fail. Glory to God. With God, all things are possible. Hallelujah. All things are possible to him that believe. God is love. Hallelujah. They that love know God. They that don't love don't know God. Hallelujah. How can you say you love God whom you've never seen and hate your brother who you see every day? It's impossible. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So we declare this morning, this afternoon, this evening, glory to God, wherever you may be on the planet, that God is is love and that he loves you greater love than this has no man that he laid down his life for his friends we thank god for jesus we thank god that he died on the cross for my sins i thank him hallelujah and i praise his holy name i thank him because he's been good to me i thank him because he blessed me i thank him because his precious blood was shed on calvary i thank you for jesus the author and the finisher of our faith i thank you for the work that you've begun in us that you're able to complete it we glorify you in all that we do we pray Praise your holy name. Come magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I thank God for Jesus. Hallelujah. He's wonderful. He's gracious. He's kind. He's our mighty God. Hallelujah. He's a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. He's better to us than we've ever been to ourselves. So we give God praise tonight. I thank God for his continued attributes of love. The love of God shared abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost. That love, glory to God, that agape love. Hallelujah. Not a filio. I, a filio my wife glory to God but I thank God that Jesus uh, uh, hallelujah agape me hallelujah he called me glory to God out of the murk and the mire he called me out of sin sickness and death he called me and I thank God hallelujah for his call many are called but few are chosen so I give God praise glory and honor hallelujah thank God for Jesus I thank God hallelujah that He's omnipresent, glory to God. He's omniessence. He's uh, omnipotent, hallelujah. I thank God for his righteousness. You know, the Bible declares it's the righteousness of Christ that's been imputed to us. To impute is to credit to your account, and the only thing you've done is believe. He credited his righteousness. So when God looks at you, he doesn't see Pastor Walter. Glory to God. He sees Jesus. He sees the precious blood that was shed on Calvary. It's his blood that allows me to enter in. It's his sacrifice that was made on my behalf. Hallelujah. And another attribute of God is that he is triune. Hallelujah. God is Father. He's Son. He's Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Now, the word of God says, I am the Lord God. I am one. Hallelujah. But he's manifested in three different ways. So I thank God that he's manifested, hallelujah, as the Father. I thank God that he's manifested as the Son. To manifest is to make known or to reveal, to demonstrate or to display. Hallelujah. So God demonstrated himself through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Through that virgin birth. Hallelujah. Through that one that, hallelujah, was wondering, should I marry this woman? Hallelujah. Should I... Should I get with her? <laughs> we can use a, a modern day term. And that man had a visitation by an angel. I think sometime we need an angel to come to us and direct us to do the thing that God called us to do. And that angel told him, go ahead and take Mary as your wife. Hallelujah. And so time passed. Glory to God. He couldn't speak until that baby came forth. Because sometime, even though the angel come, we still got doubts. We still got fear. Glory to God. We're just a man. Hallelujah. Uh, a lot of times when angelic visitation occurred, the angel of the Lord would say, fear not. Hallelujah. Fear not. God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Power, the authority of God. That same power that raised Christ from the dead, it now dwells in us. So he gave, he gave us power. He gave us love. Agape love. The love of God shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Power, love, and a sound mind. He gave us the ability to think soundly in the midst of trials and tribulations. It's, it's all right to think soundly when everything is going well. When, uh, oh, God, you got enough money in your pocket. After you pay all your bills, you got a little bit of money left in the bank. But when you don't have enough, when you're wondering where it's going to come from, when you're wondering how you're going to make it, 
Hallelujah. He said, I'll give you a sound mind. Hallelujah. In other words, I'll cause you to remember my power, my authority, my might, my ability, my omniscience, my characteristics, glory to God, that you can count on. He's the same. He's, um, he's immutable. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hallelujah. He's not going to change. Glory to God. We change. Hallelujah, because we're fickle-minded. Some of us are double-minded. A double-minded man is stable, unstable in all his ways. So sometimes we want to serve God, and sometimes we want to serve ourselves, and then other times, for some, they want to serve Satan. So you can serve three entities. You can serve God, self, or Satan. You need to be careful. Hallelujah. I am the Lord God. Hallelujah. So I thank God for Jesus. Hallelujah. I thank God for his goodness, his kindness, and mercy. I thank God for the love of God that should have brought in our hearts by the Holy Ghost. I thank God for his promises, knowing that all his promises are yea and amen in him. Hallelujah. So I just give God glory. Hallelujah. Bless the name that's above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. He's the Lord of all, all of our circumstances, all of our situations, all of our problems, all of our concerns. Hallelujah. You know, the word declares that even with the temptation, God said he'll make a way out of the temptation so that it will not overwhelm us. Can you imagine? Hallelujah. God has already prepared the tempter. He's already told the tempter, you can only go to this point. You can't go beyond this point. Hallelujah. You're not going to destroy my people. See, he didn't come to destroy us. He came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. He came, hallelujah, for the peace of the world. Hallelujah. He came for our edification, to lift up us up. Hallelujah. He came, glory to God. Christ descended into the grave. He led captivity captive, and he gave gifts to men. He gave us pastors and elders, hallelujah, bishops, glory to God, teachers, prophets, hallelujah, men and women anointed, filled with the Holy Ghost, living for Jesus, hallelujah, causing, hallelujah, his purpose to be accomplished in this world. So I thank God, hallelujah, that he came, that he died on the cross, hallelujah, he ascended into the grave. He, he led captivity captive. The thing that captivated men today is death. Men are captive. They don't want to die. Hallelujah. They don't know what happens after death. Go over to God. But I know one who beat death. <laughs> Hallelujah. He ascended into the grave. He was dead, as far as we know, for three days. But the word of God declares, while down there, he took the keys of hell, death, and the grave, Glory to God. So he is the victor over death. So we don't have to fear death. The last enemy of the Bible says that will be destroyed is death. Hallelujah. So we give God praise this afternoon. We give him glory. Praise the Lord. We thank him for his goodness. We thank him for his kindness. Thank him for his mercy. Thank him for what he's done on the cross. Thank him for that sacrificial blood, for that precious blood that's shed on the cross. We don't look to the left or to the right, but we look to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. We thank you. Hallelujah for Jesus. We thank you for his word. We thank you for his insight, for his understanding. We thank you for his patience. Hallelujah. We thank him, hallelujah, because he's been good to us. He's been better to us than we've ever been to ourselves. We give him glory, praise, and honor. Magnify the Lord. Hallelujah. Call upon his holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Be glorified in the midst of your people. Bless the Lord, O my soul, all that's within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all thy benefits. We thank you for the benefits of salvation, that you heal all our diseases. Hallelujah. Amen. That you forgive us of all our iniquities. We glorify you, Lord, and we praise your holy name. We thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, magnify the Lord. Hallelujah. I thank God for Jesus. I give him glory, praise, and honor. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. We thank God. Hallelujah. He said, take his yoke upon him. Take your yoke. Glory to God. Take his yoke. Hallelujah. And now... We know that a yoke is used to put two animals together so that they can accomplish a work. Hallelujah. God wants to come, hallelujah, into your life. He wants you to yoke with him. Hallelujah. So you and him can do the work of the Lord. You and him can accomplish the purposes of God. You and him. 
You're not a long, lone ranger. Hallelujah. You need someone to come alongside. Hallelujah. So he sent the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Glory to God. That same power that raised Christ from the dead, it now dwells in us. So he sent the comforter, glory to God, to empower you, to strengthen you, to bless you, hallelujah, to cause you to walk right, do right. You know, Jesus gave his disciples power over all the power of the devil. So they were able to heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out devils. If they drink any deadly thing, it would not harm him, <laughs> harm them. So glory to God. He he is still Jesus. He is still omnipotent. He is still immutable. He is still on the, uh, sits at the right hand of the Father. Hallelujah. So if he did it for his disciples, he can do it for you. Glory to God. So this evening, glory to God, let us go out. Let us heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out devils in his name. Hallelujah. If we come across anything that's deadly, you might go to a restaurant and the food might be bad. But if you eat it, it won't bother you. Glory to God. Everybody else got sick but you. Hallelujah. So we thank God for Jesus. Jesus, hallelujah, and for the power and the authority and the might, hallelujah, that he's given the body of Christ. We're living in the last days. The Bible declares that men will be lovers of themselves instead of lovers of God. They will not endure sound doctrine, but they will find men to tickle their ears, men to speak fanciful sermons, hallelujah, uh, some about wealth and prosperity, some about uh, other things, glory to God. God would that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prosper. But we forget the second part of that, even as your soul prosper. He wants you to be wealthy. He wants you to be hallelujah, but he wants your soul to prosper first and foremost. He wants you to be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. He wants you to put on the whole armor of God. Hallelujah. He wants to do in you greater than you can ever imagine. The things that God has for you, has prepared for you, you cannot imagine. You can't imagine how good he wa really wants to be to you. He's good, hallelujah, God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good, hallelujah, praise the Lord, let's give God praise, give him a hand praise, glory to God, hallelujah, thank God for Jesus, thank God for Jesus, hallelujah, praise the Lord, you've been listening to a word with Pastor Walter, may God bless you, may heaven smile upon you, may the joy of the Lord be your strength, praise the Lord.